I think most of us are familiar with the notion of finding area bound by a curve through the process of integration. For the given curve y equals to sin x in the screen, the conventional process to find the area from 0 to pi would be to find the integral of sin x dx from bounds 0 to pi. On simplification, the term gets reduced to a value of 2. Now, is there anything different, anything more visual that we could garner to calculate the same area? Let's give it a try, shall we? Let's draw a rectangle with length equal to the base of sine curve from 0 to pi and height equal to the maximum value possible of the sine curve, which is 1. If we zoom in at just that part of rectangle, notice that the area of the rectangle is equal to its length times its breadth, which is pi for that matter. I guess it would be really cool to put that beautiful pie aside for a moment. I'm going to do something really interesting here. If I throw random dots inside that rectangle, some of those dots will surely fall inside the sine curve. Then if I calculate the probability of one random dot falling inside the sine curve as I throw dots in the rectangle, the fractions would approximately represent the ratio of area of sine curve to the area of rectangle. So if I multiply pi, the area of the rectangle, by this fraction, which is dots inside the curve over total dots inside the rectangle, which is probability of a dot falling inside the curve, I should get a reasonable approximation of area bound by this curve. So everything set up, let's move to the most interesting and visually appealing part of this whole experiment. Meanwhile, feel free to pause the video and ponder what's happening or reverse the simulation if you find it particularly appealing as I do every time I watch it. So grab your seats, let the simulation begin. As always, thanks for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe, and help the channel grow.